This here is Homer the Homesteader down here on the homestead. Today, I was going to do me a little bit about Homer's hour or some sort of period of heart to heart homestead and honesty. And it was my intention to go on down to the river talk about the path that's less traveled and all that jazz because I was in the mind of patience. But instead, I had this pretty little lady join me before I even got down, got my phone started up. So I thought I'd use her. She's one of the hens from back there. She's the most friendly of them all. Still doesn't particularly want to be touched or petted, but she comes around us and forgoes the others because she walks a little bit different path than them. Sometimes in my life, I found that I'm on a slightly different path than the rest of those around me. And I used to think that was a bad thing. Used to get all contorted about it and worried that maybe something was wrong with me and blah, blah, blah. Over time, I come to realize that it's all right to be different. And if it's uncomfortable sometimes because I'm different than the crowd around me, that I can just sit in that difference and enjoy it and get through it because it's not a permanent feeling. I'm not always stuck in that uncomfortable place. With a little bit of patience, I can wait and find me a place that's comfortable either by becoming acquainted with those around me and so that that situation feels comfortable and if that doesn't work, then I can go find others to associate with where I am comfortable. Now, I know that might be a little head scratching, hillbilly stead of gander wisdom, but really I found it works for all people. Learn to be okay with you, and you'll be okay wherever you go. It might not be immediately okay, but it'll be okay over time because you'll figure out if that's the place you need to be because you can accept it. Or if you need to be someplace else, oh wait, you can accept it because it becomes comfortable or because you've changed how you felt about it because you can't change how you feel. You can also change most times quickly but often it takes a little bit of time. You can change the situation you're in to find one that's comfortable for you. So I guess Homer's heart-to-heart -heart homestead and honesty for the moment is I've been uncomfortable and I had to come to realize that it's not always going to be whatever way I think it is. And like this girl down here, you can go off and visit the place that works for you you might just find you a kind little another person or chicken or area that can give you some food that the others don't have access to. So, I don't know if it makes sense to you, but this here girl really helped to remind me today that <clears throat> even though I'm not 100% happy with these minus and zero degree days and 20 degree days, I know that it's not permanent and I can have a little patience and wait and everything's going to be okay. I'm going to find my way one way or the other. So hope this helps. I know that wherever you're at today, wherever you go, if it ain't all right right now, it could be all right shortly either because you learn to accept where you're at or you learn to accept the situation because it's all right. Or you learn to change yourself a little bit and accept it and that you got to just move on. Now, I know this pretty cuff of the sleeve, unscripted stuff coming from the heart is very uncomfortable. It was a time I couldn't do this. So I'm glad that I get to share with you now a little bit of what I learned that helped me be comfortable in life. So... I hope this helps somebody, anybody. I know it helped me. And me being here long enough this morning helped this little girl feel a little bit more at ease and get a little more child than the others had an opportunity to. 
Just saw your lag update on property.